Hey everyone, I am back with another video like this where I pretty much just talk to you. You know, no, no fancy edits, I'm not trying to make a professional video or anything. It's simply just me holding up a camera and talking to you and sharing, you know, a little bit about my life and my story and, you know, I hope that with these videos that, you know, you can really get a better sense of who I am and what exactly it is that I'm trying to do with my life. Um, and, you know, hopefully it's, I'm not boring you to death with, with me talking. Um, so, right now I am upstairs at my chapel, at my college, and we uh, have it three times a week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and we had it today, and it's, it's about four o'clock in the afternoon, so I'm filming this, no one's really here in the chapel. Um, but, oh, I see, let me, let me show you it while we're at it. Okay. Oh, shoot. Oh, okay, so I, they just turned off the lights to the auditorium, but I don't know if you can see it well, but basically this is, that's sort of the space it is behind me. Um, I'll probably show you what it, what it really looks like in another video. Um, I've tried to shoot some of the content that I put up on my college vlogs. Um, you know, I've tried to showcase a little bit of my chapel. And yeah, uh, for those of you who don't know, I've actually been doing um, sort of like a series of college vlogs and videos, um, trying to post once a day, but you know, I'm not, I'm not like, you know, pressuring or stressing myself out to, to do it once a day. It's, you know, it really all comes down to just, you know, if I feel like this is sort of the right, right decision to do. Um, and you know, I, I try and keep the videos that I do, uh, especially on YouTube, you know, I try and keep it, um, you know, fun and entertaining, and you know, I try not to take it too seriously, um, because you know, after all, I'm I'm just making videos, so there's really not too much harm in it. Um, and I would walk farther down behind me, but you may already hear it. But basically, there's like a loud fan, so I don't want to go that way. So I'll probably just walk this way. Um, but yeah, so. In today's video, I thought I would talk a little bit about um, social media because I know that uh, just for some of you, you know, you may have been following along just what I do on Instagram and stuff. But, you know, I know that for a good handful of, of you know, you and, you know, as my audience, I know that maybe you're just sort of, you know, being introduced and, you know, maybe you just finally found, you know, who I am and my account and whatnot, which is totally fine. Um, and I'm, I'm more than happy to share sort of my story with social media and, you know, how, you know, what, what exactly I'm doing, what I'm doing right now. So let me, let me just get a spot right here. It's nice that upstairs at my chapel they have like these little seats so you can just sit down and take a break once in a while. Um, and okay, let's see. There we go. So yeah. Um, yeah, it's a nice day, it's, um, and, you know, I've, I've had a good, you know, past couple of days, um, just sort of everything sort of winding down, and yeah, um, social media. So, um, for those of you who don't know, or, um, you know, don't know, know a lot, um, I use social media as a means to be able to share and express my life. And it's a way for me to communicate um, my thoughts and, you know, the things that I'm interested and passionate about. Um, I know that social media can be a platform and a space for negativity and, um, you know, a sort of uh, selfish sort of mentality. And, you know, I'm not going to lie, I, I, you know, there, there have been times where... I've definitely felt that pressure, but at the end of the day, for me, before social media comes me and who I really am, um, because you have to understand that, you know, when it comes to social media and, you know, just in general, when it comes to, uh, you know, putting stuff out there online, um, it's very important, I think, to, to understand the, the context in which, you know, you're, you're, you're doing so. Um, because, you know, look, everyone posts stuff on social media and, you know, everyone is, 
in a way um, portraying you know themselves in a certain way and so really um, you know even like for Instagram um, you know the things that I post and the things that I you know talk about and the things that I showcase you know it's all because you know I've thought about I've thought about it and it's it's what I want other people to know um, and you know I don't think that's I mean I think you could take it as a way as like oh then perhaps you know it's he's just sort of you know bending it or you know twisting it but that's that's really not the case um, because I've realized that there's there, there is such an underrated power in in communicating and in, in sharing um, something as simple as how your day went you know I, I, I feel like simple things about just who we are and as humans I, th I think that that's something that I think is is becoming lost in in today's world I think that um, things are becoming very extreme um, things are becoming much more polarized um, and yeah there definitely seems to be this sort of tension just with with everything um, but you know I you know at the, at the end of the day for me when it comes to social media and you know expressing myself you know I try my best to make sure that I'm staying true to who I am before you know social media you know I I don't use social media I don't use Instagram and YouTube and whatnot I don't use it because I want to gain some sort of popularity or you know I because of likes or you know numbers metrics if that was the case then actually all of us would lose because I mean, who's the most, I don't know, followed person on Instagram? Maybe it's, you know, some famous celebrity. You know, we would all lose because there's no way we would, you know, be number one. So I think it's, it's good to sort of take a step back when it comes to social media and, you know, just really think about what it is that you're chasing. You know, why, why exactly are you even using social media? You know, is it because you want to communicate something and you feel a strong enough desire that you feel like it's worth sharing to other people you know or are you just using it because well you've had it since you were you know a teenager and you know that's about it um, and th again there's nothing wrong with that I'm just saying it's good to sort of take a step back again and just think about that um, because I think that a lot of times we can come to some roadblocks when it comes to social media and we sort of wonder how it is that we got there when I think understanding the why and how we began that process I think that can really help sort of explain things um, and that's what I sort of want to share a little bit about um, with this video I know I've sort of talked a little bit about just social media in general but um, the main what I mainly use in terms of social media is Instagram and now YouTube um, and for me both I think are amazing platforms I think that you know each of them has such an amazing um, I mean it, they're, they're amazing platforms and in its own way but I think that you know because they're different I think that it enables someone like me to be able to, you know, showcase and express um, my life and the things that I'm passionate about in a different way. And it also enables me to be able to, to showcase more of my life. Um, because for example, let's say, you know, Instagram, you can't post a video that's longer than a minute. Not on like one of the main posts that, you know, stays on your feed. Um, I think you can post something like 10 minutes or 15 on IGTV um, but I, I don't really use that feature on Instagram um, so so there's that aspect um, but then you know you, you look at YouTube and you know you can you can post a video that could, you know last hours on end and so just knowing that and realizing that it's like okay th this is a platform YouTube and you know there's so much potential and there's so much opportunity and really for me you know as 20 years old who really just you know I really just feel like I am just beginning to understand you know how this all sort of operates and functions and the context and whatnot you know I feel like there's so much opportunity here to to tell my story and to 
you know, to be just to be honest with it, um, and you know, to not you know go around it, and you know, just to to you know to share it with the world and to share it with with you, and 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 let the world decide, you know, let the world judge, you know, I'm I don't want to be. I don't want to be limited by other people, and especially I don't want to be limited by myself um, when it comes to expressing um, myself. And so, yeah, I, you know, I think that this year, 2019, I think that this is going to be a year that I'm going to take a lot of risks. And, um, you know, I'm not only going to do it for myself, um, because, you know, look, and, and that's that's the funny thing is, you know, you know, with New Year's, you know, sort of, this is the end of January, and, you know, everyone sort of, you know, made some resolutions and whatnot. You know, something very interesting that I sort of realized is a lot of these New Year's resolutions, a lot of them tend to be focused on the self. You know, you, you know, you may know people or even maybe you, maybe this is one of your resolu resolutions, but, you know, some, you know, people might have a res resolution to, um, I don't know, to work out more or to, to take care of themselves more mentally, physically, emotionally, you know, or to eat better or to, to start doing this habit or to, you know, uh, to read this amount of books. You know, it's, it's all about, it seems to be this um, identity and sort of this notion of self-care. Now, I, I'm not, I'm not, um, I'm not like, I, you know, I'm, this is, I'm not like being negative at all about self-care. I think actually that's, that is something that is, very important and I think that you know even something like mental health I think that's going to be a very huge discussion and topic in the next 10 years I think because I think we're finally being able to to really talk about it and 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 not I, I think be so afraid of what other people will think because I think that you know mental health is something that really affects all of us in some in some aspect or not um, I've probably gone down, um, yeah, I've probably got off topic. Oh, yes, I was just talking about New Year's resolutions. Um, but, you know, again, like, I've just noticed that a lot of people tend to sort of focus it on themselves. And I guess, you know, one thing for me in terms of this year and, you know, what it is that I want to achieve with my life and, you know, showcasing that and broadcasting that on social media is... I, I have this I have this desire to to use my gifts and to use social media as the platform to to, to help others um, and maybe that's you know one of my resolutions I don't know but it's definitely a desire and it's been a thought that's sort of been stuck in the back of my head for some time but yeah I, I feel like that's I think that's pretty reasonable you know to help others as a resolution, as something to to work after and 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 to practice and to to make mistakes, but to also pick yourself back up and to realize that you know there's so much in life to be grateful for, and you know sometimes we have to take it day by day, and that's that's just how we do it. But you know the fact is is that you and and I, you know, we we live and we exist. Um, each and every day and you know every day is is an opportunity it's it's a blessing um, it's a chance for for us and you know as as the world as as the, you know the collective individuals it's I think it's also a responsibility um, to help one another um, it's, it's, it's not a political thing it's not a biased thing I think it's a human thing um, I think it's something structured, right? Bi you know, biological. I think it's something in our DNA. Um, you know, and I, I've mentioned this about you know how I've sort of thought about you know what if we lived in a world that didn't have any labels on each other, and that's something that I I continue to like think about a lot, and it's something where I feel like a lot about my music, you know. So much of my music and my my emotional attachment to music, I think that aligns very closely with with that notion that you know okay let's say we just you know if for, if we can just imagine you know 
that you know all of the people you know in this world you know they they looked at each other without all of these labels and all of these um, preconceived judgments and assumptions you know and and that's that's something that I think that with music I think that that's a way that we can at least see that now that doesn't mean that you know through music there's going to be a total sense of peace and harmony and the world is going to fix itself because well I mean it's 2019 and if you look at you know how things are going um, obviously it's, that's not the case but I think that through music you at, it's at it's a way for people who may be very different from each other it allows people who are you know very different from each other to to come together and and to at least agree and to, to listen um, and to coexist with each other you know that just that experience can forever change someone's life and so that's something that you know I you know I've been thinking about and I'm I'm sort of sort of planning out and sort of how, how exactly am I going to feature more of my you know some of my ambitions and dreams with music on social media um, because you know I can I can always just share with you my music which and I, I, I love doing that and I'm I'm really looking forward to showcasing more of that but I also realize that you know it's one thing to just share with you know share with you you know the things that I'm passionate about but if that doesn't if if you can't understand you know if that if that doesn't impact you, if that if you can't really get behind it, then all I'm doing is just, um, you know, I'm just sending out a bunch of information, and it's not really helping or affecting you. You know, I want I want to be able to that to showcase whatever it is on social media. You know, I I want it to mean something, um, and so that's sort of what I'm trying my best to to focus on this year. Um, and you know, I've done, I've tried to, you know, I actually recently, I, 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 did, I haven't really posted anything, um, you know, that, you know, like brands and companies, I, you know, I haven't really posted much of that really in the past couple of weeks. And I think that was a decision for me to just sort of, not just take a break, but to sort of take a step back and to, to really ask myself those tough questions in the mirror, um, you know, like why exactly am I using social media? You know, am I using it just for myself and just for my own personal gain? Um, because if that's the case, then you know that's you know that's not that's not the person who I am, and so I I would just be using social media just for myself, and that's just that's not how I want to live my life. You know, um, I would much rather live my life in an honest and open way and have you know 50% of the population you know like me and 50% dislike me i would actually rather have that than to put on an image um, that my life is perfect and to have you know 99% of the population think that i'm like amazing and and you know great and you know 1% for you know the haters and whatnot I would rather I would rather be open and honest. Um, no question about that, really, at this point, um, because I realize that you know this whole notion of fake it until you make it. You know, that's something that I've I've struggled with. You know, I'm, I'm being completely honest with. You know, I've struggled with it throughout high school and even throughout college, and it's only been until recently where I realized that while faking it until you make it may you know, may benefit you, may give you a good head start in the short term. That's not how you want to live your life in the long run. Um, you know, because you have to view life as, you know, sort of like a marathon. And, you know, you might get a really good head start in the first couple of miles, but, you know, you you do need endurance. You need you do need to to be who you really are if, if you're going to finish the race. Um, and so yeah, I've you know, with social media, um, you know, even recently, I've I've really made a decision that, you know, I, I just want to be completely, you know, I want to be myself, and I want to talk about things that, 
you know, I, I, I think about and that I, you know, you know, they're my opinions, but, you know, at least I'm getting it out there. At least I'm voicing the voice in me. You know, I, 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 do, I never want to feel like um, somehow I'm, you know, limited. You know, I don't want to limit myself to that. And so that's, yeah, that's sort of the direction that I'm doing with my social media. And, you know, I really do appreciate, you know, honestly, seriously, each and every one of you who even listens to any of these videos and, you know, um, has been following along on my Instagram account. Because, you know, I'll say this now and I'll, I'll continue to say this, but, you know, I don't, I don't ask people to, to follow my account. I don't, I don't ask people to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Again, I'm not about the numbers, you know. If you know, I want I want to I want to make sure that I'm staying true to myself and I'm communicating my story in the same way if I was communicating to five people versus if I was speaking to a million people, I would want to make sure that I'm still communicating the same story of who I am um, because I think that again you know I think that if this world is going to you know to get to some sense of understanding of one another, I think it, it's, a po it's at a point where I think we just have to be honest. Because um, I think for a lot of us, we've sort of been, you know, there's been a lot of filters and, and walls and such. And, you know, I'm not gonna say that I, I'm, I'm, I'm not guilty of it, because I, I am. And, you know, this is, for me, this is a way to just be, be open and honest about that. Um, so yeah, um, and you know, I, I, I do appreciate, um, you know, when, you know, when, when I, when I get positive messages and, you know, I, there's always people that are gonna, you know, say that I'm, I'm not who, who they say I am, but you, you, I think it's, it's just good to realize that, um, I think that we, we grow and we, we draw closer to one another when, when we can have sort of meaningful discussions and when we can get to know one another. And you know, I, you know, through these videos, you know, hopefully you can get to know me better. And, um, you know, it doesn't mean that, you know, you're gonna get to know me 100% because obviously I'm, I'm not gonna, you know, what you see on video is only really one, it's such a small portion of, of my life and of who I am. But I figure that, you know, with my one life that I have that, you know, I think, I think it's important that we can have the courage to be able to, to talk about, you know, who we are as a person and, you know, the things that we go through and, um, you know, accomplishments as well as, you know, setbacks. I think both are equally important because really all of the experiences in life and, you know, each and every moment that we live by, it, it shapes who we are as, as a human. And I, I, I really do think that it, it makes us grow closer to one another when we can communicate our stories to each other. Um, when, we, when we can realize that, you know, we're not alone in whatever it is that we may struggle with or go through, you know, that, and also to realize just that, you know, all of us, are going through things that we may never, that no one will, you know, may never know. Um, and just, you know, just to, to realize that and to take a moment to just think about that, that, you know, even, you know, people that I may not like, you know, may not, um, you know, you know, sort of um, talk well with, or, you know, I, you know, I'm not a huge fan of, you know, I, I have to realize that they are also a human being and you know what gives me the right to judge someone like that um, and you know what well, all of us are you know trying to get get by life each and every day it's you know I, as you probably know it's it's tough enough so I figured the last thing that we should be doing is to beat each other down um, I just I don't see it in that way um, so yeah, this pretty much wraps up this video. Um, I probably got off topic at some points, but that's yeah, that, that's who I am. And um, again, I appreciate you watching and listening to this. And 
I will be back, be back with another video like this in about a week or so. So, thanks for listening.